This is Jazz Orleans. And as you can see, it's a, a collage painting um, also from the city of New Orleans, also at the French Quarter Festival. But we're going to start by um, looking back at an earlier stage where I was compositing the photographs. And one of the images I wanted to composite into this is this photograph of three fleur de lises that were imprinted on trash cans in New Orleans. So let's bring up the palettes and we're just going to very simply make use of the shortcuts in the Jeremy Shortcuts custom palette. Starting off with all for select all, you'll see the March in Ants. Then we'll go to copy and then we're going to go back to the photo collage here and go paste. Uh, we paste this in where it appears as a layer and if I bring up the layers palette you'll see that we've got a whole series of layers in this photo collage, the top one of which is the uh, three fleur de lises I just pasted in. Now for the most flexibility I'm going to select in my shortcuts palette convert to reference layer down there on the bottom left click and two things happened when I did this. One is the icon in the layers panel change from the default image icon which looks like um, two uh, sandwich with uh, two layers to the reference layer icon which looks like a single layer with some control points around it. On the image side of things in the layer you'll see there's little control handles in the corner. By holding down the shift key I can resize this uh, layer without changing the aspect ratio or distorting it. The great thing about reference layers is you can do as much manipulation as you wish um, without degrading the quality of the uh, image layer since actually you're not doing any changes until you commit that reference layer. Another thing I'm going to do is hold the command key down on the Mac. If I was on a PC it would be the control key and then I can actually just rotate this slightly as well. So it's very, very versatile. I love with collage working with this uh, reference layer facility. And in case you're wondering, it's under layers, convert to reference layer. I just make it a shortcut. So here we go. Let's bring back the palettes and reduce the layer opacity so we can see through. And at this point, I'm going to um, convert that uh, reference layer to a default layer. Here we go. It's again a shortcut in my Jeremy Sutton shortcuts. Um, one thing that you're welcome to do here, and I really encourage you to treat my palette arrangements and customizations purely as a, a, a starting point and then to shape them for yourself. If you hold down the shift key, you can move anything around you want in these custom shortcut palettes. And for instance here, if I find that I'm going to reference layer, then convert to default layer regularly, then I might want that in this order so that I try to get my series of uh, commands somewhat in the order of my workflow uh, for convenience. Now we've converted this to a, a default layer. I'm going to create a layer mask. Again, I've got a shortcut for that. It's the same as going to the new layer mask icon. You'll see the black square here. And at this point, I want to make sure that I have white and black in my additional and main color circles that you see in the colors palette. Um, and I use the little arrow or shift X to change those around. Starting off with black, I'm going to use the digital airbrush uh, from the airbrushes. I have a shortcut set in the middle on the right hand side of my Jeremy Sutton shortcuts that for this brush. I make sure I can see how big it is here in the bat dab profile preview. That's why I love to have that sitting right there. And then I can paint right in to the layer. And what this is going to do is wherever I'm painting with black, it actually uh, makes the layer um, invisible. In other words, it takes away the visibility of whatever happens to be in that layer. Terrell asked me to do some freeform painting for the end of this video. So I'm going to do a quick one minute sketch of the beautiful Peggy. So we're going to see where we go from here.
Peggy, tell me what you think. I love it. I think it looks great. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little tour of my workspace and I really wish you lots of fun using the workspace. If you want to learn more about my techniques and uh, even some of the examples I showed, more in-depth analysis of my process, um, then please visit paintboxtv.com where I have online video tutorials, articles, interviews, more downloadable goodies for painter and lots of other things. Um, also, if you'd like to see some of my artwork, you're always welcome to visit my main art website, which is jeremysutton.com. And naturally, it goes without saying that if you wish to come over uh, to San Francisco and take one of my workshops, it would be a great pleasure to have you here in the studio and to share my techniques, both digital and non-digital, with you. Wishing you tons of fun, happy painting, and congratulations to Painter, happy 20th birthday, and congratulations and thank you to the Painter team at Corel who've done an absolutely fantastic job with Painter 12, two thumbs up. I love the program and I know you're going to as well. <laughs>